Hey y'all, how about a little daily dose of Dawn? I just stopped being red faced from being at the gym. I've had this issue most of my life where I don't sweat. I don't know how many of you have experienced the same thing, but um, you know, it's something, as, as many of you know, I'm always trying to do self-improvement, figure things out about myself, my body, be healthier, because me, my intention is I wanna live a really long, healthy, active life. And so I'm very mindful and always trying to figure out what's gonna work best for me so I can be healthy and stay healthy and tackle all the things. And um, so, you know, not sweating has been something that I've been trying to figure out. And um, last week at CrossFit, I felt a little bit, I felt one drip come down the side of my face. Um, today at CrossFit, I felt one drip come right down here. Now I've been getting like damp all over my body, um, but that's all new because you know, I've been doing things to figure out what's going on. And one of them, uh, I don't have it out here, some electrolytes to hydrate my cells, but that's not what I want to show you. I want to show you what my awesome sister just helped me with. So I have this really great doctor, Dr. Anthony Capasso, and he did like all this blood work for me. Uh, to help me to look at my thyroid, my cholesterol, my vitamin D, my, um, my magnesium, my estrogen, my, um, well, my testosterone. I mean, like super thorough. There's probably 30 pages here. And what's so great about him is he, you know, he's not just like Western medicine. He's also, you know, helps with supplements and he has his own line of vitamins and all that. But my sister is super smart and she has a lot of this stuff in her brain and she helped me organize what to take in the morning, late morning, um, afternoon and evening. And I'm super excited. I've been using these little pill packs here. It's a morning and an evening and um, I'm now going to get where it splits it up a little bit more. I've actually been on strike. My bot, my belly's been on strike with vitamins because I was trying to figure out there was a certain vitamin that was, or supplement that was upsetting my stomach. And I pretty much figured out what that is. Uh, it was, it was B complex. Um, and it was a, it was a healthy ingredient B complex. But anyways, I've taken that out of my regimen. And in case you're curious, we got all sorts of stuff. We got some stuff for Hormone, probiotics, Meta T3. Where is it? Is it on? Yep. I got a Cotandem. Um, your Omegas, CoQ10, Zinc, Red Yeast Rice for cholesterol, Bergamot for cholesterol. The one those are for cholesterol. This is my favorite multivitamin because it's whole food based. DHEA, Stress Buster, Turmeric. Awesome stuff, vitamin C, K2, D3, lysine, and magnesium. Yeah, it seems like a lot, but so worth it. Cause you know what, we don't get that stuff from our food source all the time anymore. Um, anyway, so I wanna share with you another little reading from this cute little book and maybe offer you some information that might help you for today. Um, motto for positive outlook. Refuse to be unhappy. Be cheerful instead. Refuse to let your troubles multiply. Just take them one by one. Be optimistic. Be energetic and positive about the things you do and always hope for the best. Believe in yourself at all times and all, all aspects of your life. Before you know it, those wonderful dreams you have believed in all of your life will come true. Yours will be the happy and successful life it was meant to be. That was from Ben Daniels. Refuse to be unhappy. Have you ever thought about that? Like there is a way that you can look at every single thing in your life in a positive way. And I know that might sound crazy. And I've had customers and clients that have said to me over the years, um, I don't believe in being optimistic. I, you know, I'd rather expect the worst and then I'll be excited when the good happens you know or they'll say something like I, I try positive thinking it didn't work for me well one of the one of the examples that I like to share 
with folks so that they can kind of wrap their mind around this concept is, have you ever been car shopping or motorcycle shopping or RV shopping or boat shopping? And as soon as you start thinking about that thing, whatever it is, like I've liked Corvettes for a long time. So when I, so it's in my brain, it's filtered in, like there's bazillions of cars out there in the world, right? So I, it, I have filtered into my mind Corvettes. So I can be driving down the highway at, you know, 80 miles an hour, talking about dinner, looking at the road in front of me, and my subconscious mind will actually pick up in my peripheral vision a Corvette going by. And, and I'm sure you've noticed this. Like, let's say you've bought a new car recently. All of a sudden you see similar cars just like all around that you hadn't even noticed were in your same town. And this is a phenomenon. It's super cool. It happens with your mind. And um, you can work with that. So if you decide that you want to see the good in situations or the good in your life or um, be happy instead of unhappy, you will actually see your subconscious mind will pick up, even if it's in your peripheral vision, things that correspond with that. So like a lot of people, they're driving down the road and they're too busy thinking about being late, the traffic, the frustration with the car in front of them, or the construction, instead of noticing the beauty around them or you know, the, having gratitude for being alive. How about that one? So as soon as you start shifting your mind to start thinking in a different way and seeing the positives, um, it's like anything else. You'll train your mind to be more like that and then you don't even have to work at it but it will see things around you that will help you to feel better and to be happier. And then, um, so to refuse to let your troubles multiply, just take them one by one. Challenges do come, um, curveballs do come, but you can work through them and you work through them a lot faster and a lot better with less mess ups by keeping a positive attitude or staying neutral and staying calm and, and constructive. You know, again, here's another example of why that's so important. You know, if you've ever been in a rush, um, you may notice that you will drop things more, your coffee will spill, you'll forget your keys. You know, so that's just another thing that happens related to your mind. So stay calm, stay present, um, be optimistic. Energy comes with optimism. This is a cause and effect relationship between your mind and your body. So when you have more positive, constructive thoughts, the energy of that in the cells of your body is uplifting. It feels good. You feel motivated. You feel inspired. You're excited. Um, so it all feeds into each other. So try that out for today. And um, here's to good health and longevity and being happy. I'll talk with you again soon.